Hi everyone! Today I'm listening to another artist which I've never heard before, and that is Marvin Gaye. I don't even know which era he's from yet, but I have a bit to read here, so I'll find this out pretty quick. Marvin Pence Gaye Jr. was an American soul and R&B singer, songwriter, and musician. He helped shape the sound of Motown in the 1960s. Okay, there's our context. First as an in-house session player and later as a solo artist with a string of successes, which earned him the nicknames Prince of Motown and Prince of Soul. Doesn't somebody else have the name Prince of Soul? Or maybe it was King of Soul that I've listened to. I don't remember. Today it's Marvin Gaye, Prince of Motown, Prince of Soul. On April 1, 1984, on the day before his 45th birthday, Gay was shot and killed by his father, Marvin Gay Sr., at their house in Western Heights, Los Angeles, after an argument. What a tragedy. Many institutions have posthumously bestowed Gay with awards and other honors, including the Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award and inductions into the Rhythm and Blues Music Hall of Fame, the Songwriters Hall of Fame, and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Originally inspired by a police brutality incident witnessed by Rinaldo Obi Benson, What's Going On was composed by Benson, Al Cleveland, and Gay, and produced by Gay himself. The song marked Gay's departure from the Motown sound towards more personal material. Later topping the Hot Soul Singles chart for five weeks and crossing over to number two on the Billboard Hot 100, it would sell over two million copies, becoming Gay's second most successful Motown song to date. It was ranked at number four in Rolling Stone's 500 Greatest Songs of All Time in 2004 and 2010. Hmm. Well, I don't know what his first most successful Motown song was. Maybe at some point I'll return to him if I like what I hear today. But this is going to be interesting. So it's kind of the moment at which he steps towards a more personal style. I'm going to keep that in mind as I'm listening. Let's see how it sounds. Brother, brother, there's far too many of you dying. You know we've got to find a way to bring some love here today. Father, father, we don't need to escalate. Oh, wow. How, how fitting. Father, father, we don't need to escalate. You see, war is not the answer, considering how his life ended. I like his voice. It's a, it has a very smooth and open quality to it. I, I feel like, well, I haven't heard where he goes with it. If he's a soul singer, then he could get pretty, shall I say, it doesn't sound good to say solely. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, deep in your soul, he can do that. But, but I like his his easy voice. It 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 goes so nicely. Interesting start to it as well. This whole conversation, greeting everybody as if you're in a gathering. Um, and I just have a little bit of a weakness for this sort of rhythmic and bass combination, which I know comes from the soul and the Motown style, but there's something about it that always just pulls me in and I just want to ride along with it. We don't need to escalate You see, war's not the answer For only love can conquer hate You know we've got to find a Don't punish me 
with brutality. Talk to me so you can see. With the orchestra in the background, those sweeping strings, and then, and then I love the conversational, multi voiced feeling of this piece. He's singing, but there is so much both, both melodic and speech, um, conversational style stuff happening in answer to what he's singing all along the way. I love it, and I love the dynamism that it brings to the music with this smooth singing, kind of open projection, natural voice, and all the texture and energy that all of these contributing voices bring to the music. Listen to the bass with the strings. Oh, but I come on. They judge us simply cause our hair is long. Oh, you know we don't define. Bring some understanding here today. Oh, oh, oh. The voices in the background. And make it sound. Don't punish me. Come on, talk to me so you can see what's going on Yeah, what's going on Tell me what's going on I'll tell you what's going on Right, right on, right on Well, I think that was actually a very beautiful piece of music and I mean, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed listening to it. I I kind of got into it. I as I said, I like the dynamism, the the different elements going on. But as I was following the lyrics, I suddenly began to feel like this is incredibly appropriate and eloquent in its own way, especially towards the end. Picket lines and picket signs, don't punish me with brutality. Come on, talk to me so you can see what's going on. In other words, it's an invitation to come, let's have a conversation, let's discuss what we are protesting. Why are we protesting? Why do we feel the need to come out here and protest? And if we can start talking, if you will come talk, because I'm not here to be hostile, although I am protesting and picketing, but I would like to have a conversation with you, with the other side, and I would like us to build an understanding. And maybe you will start to see why we're here. That's the message I get from the music and from the lyrics and from the music. Because as I said at the beginning, even before I realized where this music was going, where the lyrics were going with the ideas, he gave it a very open sound. His voice 
didn't get deep into that, you know, the darkest corners of your soul feeling. It was more open and and um, projecting as if he's, you know, it's an invitation. There's there's not hostility in the voice. There isn't um, there isn't a hard edge. There's not even a lot of anguish coming through in the music. It's more about inviting the other side to to listen, to hear, to and to get our message across to the other side. And also these conversational elements in the music that I was talking about, they give it such a dynamic quality. Again, so representative and so appropriate for the message. Let's talk. Let's, let's have a conversation between the different parties. Let's, let's meet and let's see if we can get something going so that, as it started at the beginning, with all that, <clears throat> hey, what's going on? How are you doing? What, whatever was being said there, but it was greetings. It was kind of like, everyone coming together to protest, but but I get the feeling that it's also supposed to represent not just one side gathering in their group, but a hope for both sides to come together and start saying, what's going on? Tell me, how are you doing? What's what's happening? What's, what's, what's the deal here? And, as I was also commenting on, these sweeping strings, which are clearly drawn from classical traditions and then the bassy um, rhythmic elements bum, 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 didam, bum, bum. such a contrast in style but didn't they sound beautiful together didn't they work well together and again I'm seeing that and feeling that as kind of a representation of two very disparate um, elements coming together and actually creating something beautiful together in cooperation, in harmony, not just always at odds with each other. And so all of this I noticed in the music, I enjoyed the effect, just the immediate effect that, that the music created. But then as I started paying attention to what's happening lyrically, the message of the music and how the music itself is communicating and working with that, by the time I got to the end, I thought, what a beautiful piece. What a beautiful piece. It's so symbolic and it carries such a clear message of, of openness, a desire for unity, for understanding, for listening and working out what the troubles are. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Well, that was my first exposure to Marvin Gaye, and <clears throat> this was what's going on. I'd love to hear a bit more of his music. I'd love to see what else he does with his voice. Um, this was clearly his first step into a more personally inspired style, and I liked it. So I'm sure I'll return at some point in the future. I'll see you soon. <laughs>